Hey everyone, so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to model concentric double curvature masses. So let's start with uh, the lotus temple in India. So as you can see we have uh, a few objects that are repeated uh, all along the center of this shape. So the first thing to we need to know to model or design uh, this building is the number of sides because we are going to start with the volume so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine sides so we are going to the top view so double click here to maximize the top view and let's choose a polygon and the, uh, set the number of sides to nine and let's see the radius is uh, around uh, 25 meter so type 25 and press enter or uh, right mouse click let's move it here now i want to draw a point in the center so i'm going to open the center snap and type point and move around until you see it is snapping through the center and click on the mouse left click so here we have a point on the center so uh, now we are going to start by drawing uh, the lines that we are going to use to create the surfaces and then we are going to use a polar array to repeat this uh, surface along the center so we can bring here the the top view from google earth as a reference to see uh, how the curves should look like and start using it to draw So let's start with a line. We can draw a line perpendicular to this one. So open open a smart rack to make sure that this will snap to the to the perpendicular. And draw a line maybe a uh, 10 meter. So draw another line here. And also let's draw uh, lines from from the center to these edges and uh, press tab to fix the movement position. We need some some kind of reference line here and another one here so for this one let's draw a perpendicular line here until it press tab press tab to fix the uh, movement direction until it hits this reference line another one here and another one here i'm pressing uh, the right mouse the right mouse click to uh, bring the command tag and instead of enter So this part uh, is going to be this part. So let's let's uh, resume drawing. We need another line here. Okay, so make sure that all the points, all the lines are connected in the same point. Let's draw another line here. Okay, I will delete this one for now. So double click to minimize the view and double click to maximize the perspective. Now I'm I will select I will draw another curve here too. Now I will select all these curves and type rebuild to rebuild re reconstruct these uh, curves but with different number of control point and different degrees. So I will set the degree to uh, three and the count. Maybe four would be fine. And press F10 to open the control points. Now for this one, let's select all these points and move them up. Maybe six meter, maybe four meter. And this point two to move maybe three. Select this two, four meter also. And this one also need to be moved a little bit. Let's move this up a meter. These two move them up also. See maybe like something like this. Okay. 
this one need to move a little bit up also. So I guess the idea will keep adjusting the control points. And for this one, I'm going to copy this one. So select all these edges and copy. Or maybe no, we don't need to copy them. Now we want, uh, now we will draw another uh, reference line here. I will open uh, the project to make sure that the lines are going to be in the XY plane. I will snap to uh, this point, which is in the center and press tab to fix the movement direction and draw a line in here and right click finish the command. Select this line and move it like this and make sure that the project is open and choose a scale one in one direction and scale it until it uh, intersects with this line. Let's move it away a little bit like this, scale it again, choose scale in one direction, point, point and scale it like this. Now uh, I will start drawing a line here. So draw point here, point here, point here, another point here, then a point here like this. I draw four points here to make sure that uh, all these four points, for example, if I came here and open this control point, so all these four points are in the same line, are in, in the same line like here, like this. So we are going to create a mirror here. There are, uh, this part is going to be closed. Okay, so we will need another line here. Choose line and draw a line in this point of intersection until in touch this one. So double click to minimize the view and double click to maximize the perspective. Now let's, uh, for, this, for this line, I want it to be in, uh, in 2D, so I'm going to use the set point command and choose Z. And for this, let's start adjusting the control points. Move this up, two, and so on. Start adjusting the control points height. And Type move, type D for vertical and move this point until, let's close the project, move this point until it intersects with this one. Now type rebuild. Make it four control points, okay. Move this up a little bit, it's two. Just control points also, move this up. Transit. Some of these control points may need to be uh, moved uh, back, but uh, when we when moving it, make sure to move it in this direction. So I'm going to select this point, and uh, we can open the project and go here and choose move and start moving it and using this uh, uh, line as a reference. So this point like this. Let's select uh, these two lines, type F10 to open the control point and select this point and move it. Maybe something like this. Okay, control Z. Select this one, this one, and select these two points and move it. Just back like this. Okay, uh, I want to show you a quick tip about uh, creating the surface. So to create a surface from three edges like this, we can use actually three methods. We can use sweep to rail. So uh, we can come came here, the surface tool and choose sweep to rail, rail one, rail two and file one, right click. Or we can use, uh, surface from two, three or four edges, or we can use 
surface from network of curves. So the question here, uh, all the surface looks similar and they are all following the same curves. So the question here is which one to use. So for this one and this one, they have the same uh, number of control points. So they will create uh, the same file size and this one contain a lot of control points. So uh, if we are going to create some manual adjustment, this could be better, but we are not so, uh, so still the question is uh, which one to use. So uh, if we want to add a thickness, so for example, here I, uh, I mirrored them and uh, joined them together. And now I want to add thickness to them. So let's start with this one. Let's type offset, offset surface and type a thickness 0.4. It didn't work actually uh, because, uh, because this point, as you can see in this, in this point, the lines are uh, crossing each others. So this one is not work. Let's try this one. Let's type offset surface. Here this work, but, but uh, I will press control Z and to show you something. So I will copy it. Now uh, here I, uh, to make sure that it work, I increased actually the, to the tolerance. If uh, we, the default to tolerance was 0.01. If I try to use this one to create the offset, it created this kind of result. So you may need to go type options and go to in the, in the units and increase the tolerance. I set it to 0.001. So after increasing the tolerance, it, it worked just well. Oh, okay, sorry. So type offset surface and make sure that the tolerance is set to default. So which is the 0.001, which I just set it. Run right click and here it worked just well. And this one, it worked well too. But uh, as you can see, uh, this one uh, created the best result. So actually, uh, while I was recording this video, I used this fifth rail, but it's actually not the best uh, way. Uh, it's better to use a surface from two, three or four edges. Okay, now let's get back. Okay, uh, we can keep adjusting uh, the control point, but uh, before I keep adjusting the control points, I will just uh, start creating the surface. So maybe just move this like this. So I'm going to use uh, sweep to rail to create the point. So type sweep to rail, select uh, rail one, rail two, and file and right click. Here it's the same thing, sweep to rail, right click to bring the command again and choose rail one, rail two, and this edge, click here, same thing, right click. To bring sweep to rail, rail one, rail two, and profile. Now select this one, this one, this one, and uh, type mirror. Make sure that record uh, open. Okay, uh, when I created the surface, the record history wasn't on, so I'm going to delete them and right click here and check that it always record the history. And let's create sweep to rail, rail one, rail two, profile one, right click. Same thing here. Now select all this object, mirror and mirror them along this ax. Now select everything and choose a polar array, go to the center and choose the count to nine. So we have our basic shape. Now to adjust it, all we need to adjust is this curve, this one, this one. So to select all the curves, type se select curve, S-E-L-C-R-V. Type enter and choose isolate the curves that if we, if I came here and start moving this curve, as you can see, all the model is updating. Here we can start adjusting our design. This one need to move up like this. Point two. So select all these control points that are here. Hold control to deselect and press uh, F10 and start adjusting the model.
Okay, uh, I think now the model uh, looks like the reference. Okay, uh, now I want to show you another thing. If you want to break uh, this symmetry, we can use uh, cage edit. So for example, I will copy everything. So select everything and hold alt and move using the gumball to copy. Now I can select everything and go to the transform, choose uh, cage edit, bounding box, choose uh, C plane. And you, we can define the number of uh, points in X and Y and Z. Keep them uh, by, uh, by default four and four and four. And the degree is three, right click and right click. Now we can start selecting these control points and start manipulating the shape to break this symmetry if this was needed. And we can move the gumball, double click to move the gumball here and start maybe scaling this part a little bit or increasing its scale, maybe something like this to, ex uh, to test a few different variations. And when you finish, you can press escape. And to open the control points of the cage edit, you can select it and type F and press F10 to uh, open it again and start readjusting it again and again. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.